Greetings guys, this is Blades Rush, and I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Um, in today's video, we're doing a little uh, ship overview guide thing. If the Interceptor 1v1 does come around again, this ship is a monster. Gentlemen, I did um, get fit off a of grease paint. He was the only gentleman who has seen run something like this, and after losing to him a couple of times, it's like, mm, good little fit there. So I copied it, made a couple of little modifications to the fit um ask Grease if i can do this video and he was chill with it so thank you very much Grease. but all credit goes to him for this fit i did make some modifications but i wouldn't have had i wouldn't have expected this to be as good as what it was had i not fall him or came across like the chill dano thing um so thank you so much for letting me use this in this video but yeah i was primarily using claws and stuff once i switched to this we went on like a 22 to 23 uh, kill streak which was nuts dude um so yeah, it was, it was doing me very well. It really, the dual nanos really helped catch those kiters. And um, most of the brawling frigates or interceptors you'd see in here were scram, like MWD. So the dual nano, once you scram someone, allows you to have range control and the extra gel, it just helps a lot. The only thing that you'll have really hard problems with is AB, like AB dual web tyrannuses or the AB web scram things when you're brawling, because they'll have range control. And you are tanky, but don't have much buffer. So if your opponent, say, like, doing a lot of DPS to you and say something like a Tyrannus, he can blap for you pretty quickly. Um, if a Claw has range control on you, it's also probably going to be very hard for you. There isn't too many instances where that will be a thing, though, unless it's AB Scram, but you don't see many of those. It's either a Yeah, there's a few variations you'll see, like MWD Scram, you'll have range control in that. AB Web, you'll have range control in that, because you can still run your MWD. It will hurt a lot of your cap, but the only one you need to be watching out for is an AB Scram Claw, which is... I, I don't think I've came across too many of those. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, uh, we are using a couple of boosters in this fit. I did go super try hard near the end of this event, because I was looking for that rank 2 spot. Uh, Overclocker Dose 2 for 5% extra speed. Improved Blue Pill, which I think is at 25%? Yeah, 25% to your boost. Um, yeah, shield boost, which you are using 2 of, so that helps significantly. Now, I was using Frantics for the extra, I believe it's 10%. Um, optimal range because a lot of the fights in this you're going to be using null especially against the brawl gents because you probably won't win in a straight up brawl against most things you want to use null and try and use your optimal range bonus which raptor has to your advantage um to fit this you'll see that we're also under you know paragrades hurting so you do need a two percent um pg implant i was also using a one percent agility just for that extra little bit of agility to help catch the caters and you know be able to pull range quicker because you know you get up to speed quicker so that's pretty much covers the fit boys hope you guys enjoy the fights and again thank you so much grease this is pretty much his fit all credit goes to him okay for our first fight is skin's uh uh the cannon claw and basically i've rammed them anytime you see opponents just ram them the only time i win is a tyrannus that time um basically want to check the guns if it's real or a blaster because ramming up uh Blaster <laughs> Tyrannus isn't particularly the greatest idea. So you see that I've got null. I'm trying to keep him at eight and a half K here. We have range control because he seems to be um A B web or he might be MWD web, but we have range control. Oh no, he has A B, so we have to keep our MWD heating. You can tell because of the velocity he's going. It's heading a little, but you can still sort of make out he's going about three to four K. But um yeah, we keep the MWD going. It's still a very rough fight. I have to actually pull myself off at that time, reload my reppers, and then come back to um, basically kill him. I could have probably killed him there, but I didn't want to risk it. So we come back in, and we eventually get him killed. Now this next claw fight, uh, this was the first, one of the first fights I had in this um, raptor, and I didn't quite know how to play this. I have ram with anti, maybe I wasn't expecting to pull range from the claw or something. And see, once I do get uh, start to build range, I swear to null, but we've taken a lot of heavy hits, um, and he may or may not, uh, we don't build range and we die. So that is one way you can go, but usually you're hoping that it goes the first way. <laughs> but um, this is against Yokan in this Crusader. Now um, these kite boys, you need to do some manual maneuvers boys to try and catch them. You basically want to try and catch them. It's really difficult catching MWD kiters in this arena, you basically want to try and catch them in front and scram them and then their inertia sort of brings them into you is really it's quite difficult it's ca brawling in this arena is is difficult man it kind of seemed to be sort of the meta 
especially those already you know like damp oh claws they were a disaster but you see i've got scram on him since we should have range control on him because he's only mwd fit i turned prop off and then switched to antimatter and then orbit him so that perhaps we can get underneath his beams he does start to bring us into the abyss which isn't ideal but i think he goes out slightly further and i'm thinking i can brawl him out which we do and i scream back to arena to not die <laughs> so gf those guys okay this ended up being one of the hardest fights i had uh, again i get this guy ramped because if he has rails, I want to catch him before he pulls range. But he ends up being Blaster. So I want to keep my 8.5k, hoping that I have range control here. Which I don't actually seem to be having, which freaked me out. I think he may have actually had some speed mods in these lows as well. But he was buffer fit. He had an MSE and an adaptive, which made him incredibly tanky, dude. You see that went into the arena a little bit there? But we're able to soar up full range a little bit. And we're able to eke out the win, perhaps. I'll be that very close. So GF to that Raptor. Raptor. Brawl Raptor versus Brawl Raptor can be pretty spicy. Now, oh, this is me trying to catch this Raptor, and you can see this video being incredibly sped up just for that purpose. Dude, I just, I just wanted to brawl, man. Uh, I've been doing this event, like, nearly non-stop this whole last couple of weeks, and dude, this, these kind of fits just make a misery in here, because it takes so much effort to catch these guys, because if you just scram them as you would normally, then they're sure off like as everything's going so fast they'll just pull themselves off <clears throat> so you need to basically like get in front of them when you scram them so their inertia pulls them forward sort of into you and your inertia also sort of goes forward if that makes sense it's really difficult to pull off and um oh you can see that i've tried but damn this i get um quite close to a quite a couple of times in this fight you'll see the only reason that i'm finding it a bit more easier to catch this guy Another people I see his orbit seems to be very predictable. He seems to just be constantly going round and round the outskirts. Whereas a lot of other carriers will just go in random directions. So it's actually a lot harder to catch. But since I'm able to sort of predict where this guy is going. Get in front of him. Get the scram. And cause the... We basically got him. Once we've got him. Because he doesn't have much speed mods I believe. We're dual nano. He can't pull range. So GF there. Um, that's against the Bally. Not the most interesting of fights. But it gives me some time to talk about... There's two fits going around. There's a MWD Geo Web Malediction that may give you a hard time because it might potentially have range control. Oh uh, no, it will have range control. Uh, no, uh, if you overheat your MWD, you should have range control, right? No. Actually, that might be quite an interesting fight, but I think you will need that for MWD. There's a, it's like a MWD Geo Web TD Crow or it's AB Geo Web uh, TD Crow, which is a nightmare probably against something like this. Thankfully, I wasn't fighting any of those. Um, well, it's a shame that I can't include them in this video, but um, yeah, expect those to give you a hard time. You see, I'm just using Null. Frantix is helping us like reach out to his sort of orbiting range. You know, we're heading out to about 9.2, I think, um, which is nice. So we're progressively just like working down his tank. He does start to pull range as he sees he's getting low, but we have WD back towards him. Get scram on him. And um, progressively just constantly like, plank away at him. He may have his small armor repper on reload at this point. Or he may have burned out or something like that. But yeah, he's struggling at this point. <laughs> Which is great for us. So we get back on top of him. And we do eventually whittle him down. So GF for that gent. Now, this against another Kaidi individual. And you'll see that I ram that star. Any person you see, just ram them again. Except if it's a Tranis. But I make a mistake here. I've fought Snake multiple times now. I'm not looking at his guns because I feel like it'll be a distraction. You see, I keep at 8.5k here. Nah, it's a mistake. I should have constantly kept on ramming with a, a MWD he, uh, on the go. So we caught him. Because I was expecting an auto cannons there, but I was mistaken. So now, we just need to go for the effort of catching him. <gasps> oh, dude. I'm not actually looking forward for this event coming back around. I mean, it was okay. Some fights were fun, like the brawl fights, but... Catching these kiters, especially with the you know inherent benefit of them get 100% speed, it's just it's so so difficult. But we might be able to catch them, which we do. And I approach, um, you know, not long ago, just approach. I should have really maybe cut prop here again with what we did with the first kiter, switch to animator and orbit them just so he's already couldn't potentially hit us. You see that? It's, um, if you got like a good wrecking hit as we were approaching him. He, we would actually potentially die because we only have 2.5k HP, so that isn't the smartest. Now, boys, this is going to be the hardest fight for you, and this was my hardest fight. Um, you'll see that I keep him at 
orbit one orbit about AK. Um, that'd be ideal. Now, base wanna get a scram on him first just in case he has MWD scram, but he's AB dual web, which is ideal. So I'm gonna get a little plinking shots at him before we fully commit. He does get AB dual web on me. He is committed now. You'll see. I pull off some maneuvers in this fight. You see that he's like basically right on top of us, and I'm not pulling range now. But due to our good um, agility, I basically double click behind him, pull off a bit of range, give him my eight and a half again. You'll see that we're able to pull range. He gets back into range again. I double click in another direction, um, just because our crazy speed and the, the, the agility we have, the dual nanos, he's really struggling. But I'll be in it. We're reloading is incredibly close, dude. If you got one more volley, we'd have lost. So GF to that guy. For our last fight or loss, I should say. This is a second only loss, and this is where I retired the Abyss event. Scram, guns on him, speed, he's rails, we've got this dude. He's zooming towards the arena though, which isn't ideal. Um, I see this, so I have to double click away. I thought I would get this in time, but no! And we die, so GF, GF. And there we have it, boys. The best interceptor 1v1 has come to a close. And thank goodness it has, boys. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. That thing was a slog, man. It was good fun, but... Oh, dude, I hope you guys had more fun than I did. Oh, dude, those interceptors, man. Like, the kitey ones, they were driving me nuts. Dude, um, oh. oh, But anyway, um, thank you so much to Grease again for allowing me to use his fit in this video. Again, all credit goes to him. This is his fit. Uh, I just stole it. And, uh, like I, I tempted it. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Alright, boys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Whatever. Um, hope you have good fun. And this, if the Interceptor event ever does come back round. Uh, but, anyway. Yeah, take care, boys.